to unfold this uh, special mesh surface. Uh, this surface is a little bit weird here, so it's kind of a, a strong twisted here. So you cannot use in the G unfold to handle this kind of surface here. So you have to do something here. So uh, it's actually it's very simple. It's a it's a rule surface here, right? So it just uh, what you can do here is that you you create a two curve here. So just just use this way here and to create a two curve here and then around this edge here and then create uh, another curve here for inside here so uh, for this guy here here you create another curve here along this inside here so and then then you create another curve here so the curve that I have created is going to be just a moment here so it's going to be here it is here so it's a, it's a red curve and then use these two red curve here and to loft loft a surface here so you can create a surface is actually it's the green one is the surface that you have created here and then you can unfold this surface basically this is actually be exactly matched to the mesh surface here so then this you uh, the surface you have loft should be matched uh, to the uh, mesh surface and then you can use unfold surface here uh, to flat unfold surface here uh, no this is actually no come on this uh, all right here so uh, just a moment yeah okay here is the, the right comment here so click here and then and then you can select then whether you want to unfold the, the curve on the surface here but uh, in the 3d space but here we don't have the curve on the surface so you can just uh, just hit return and then you'll get the results here so this is actually the this is the result here so it's just, it's very simple uh it's very simple shape but the I think originally there must be a nerve surface or so then they create a mesh and then later on you can just uh, recreate another surface here to uh, approximate the mesh surface. If you have original surface here, that should be much easier. Uh, that's for today. Thank you. Bye.